Good afternoon from Hong Kong. Um, it's, well, it's, it's May. It's the middle of May right now, uh, today here in Hong Kong. It's Wednesday the 17th, and I've got my, um, my Peltier, my thermoelectric coolers. Um, again, this is the hot side, and this is the cool side. Uh, because it, it sucks in, um, sucks in air from here and it comes out the sides, comes out these fins, uh, you need to clean it. Well, I've, I've just finished cleaning. Um, you just get a lot of dust and crap in it. Got to clean it out um, every year. Now, I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions from people. Now, I, I, I had these made. I had these made three years ago. And that uh, we, we spent, I was over a year, spent over a year on having it made. Um, this is the small one uh, that we use just in, you know, that we use in a small bedroom a small cabin and that uh, and what it is is I mean it's I get a lot of questions and I, I don't want anyone to get the impression that this unit is going to replace a compressed Freon type air conditioner for me on a boat what I need is I need something that's going to to remove the humidity when the Sun is out the sun is out it's going to keep things cool in the v berth and in, in the areas that i want to be at and at the night time it's just really really comfortable sleeping weather low humidity it's still cool but it's off at night we just have the fans on and uh and so now now this is i've, I've just cleaned this up uh, i've got all the dust out from all the fins and I, I'd like to answer a few questions about this. Now, I, I had this made, and I, I know because I went and had it made at factories in China, there are a lot of copies of it. But what, what's important about this unit that I had made, and we spent over 12 months on, this unit has three um, Peltier units in it. It has three thermoelectric um cooling units now these Peltier modules um, this has three now there's two semiconductors that run parallel and two different metals and when you put a current across it one side is going to get hot the other side is going to get cold um, and again you want to remove the heat that is why this is the hot side it's got the two fans you want to remove the heat as fast as possible and that and then the cool air on the cool air side and that it just blows the the warm air comes in the humid air comes in and it drips and I've got screw holes and if you can see on here I've got as you can see where my screw holes are and that in the corners and that and I've got screw holes down here um, this holds in the cover I can take it apart and I can clean out the fins so What's important is, for me, I've gone and I purchased off of eBay, Taobao, from other Chinese factories. I've purchased all these other off-the-shelf thermoelectric cooling modulars and that, these Peltier units. And, I mean, if I think the most I, we ever got was like a 5% efficiency. So what we did is we went to a factory and i had the modules made with the highest quality the purity of the semiconductor a semiconductor it's a metal you know think of it as gold you've got seven karat gold gold and 99 percent gold you've got you know 50 percent pure silver and 100 percent or 99.9 percent .9 silver what's important is on, on the semiconductor on the pelcher units that i have made in here which give me a higher efficiency is because 
the purity of the semiconductor, the purity of the metals that are running in parallel, the two different semiconductors that the electricity goes through, one side gets hot, one side gets cold. That is what's important. If you go and you buy something off of eBay and you want to make something like this yourself, well, you're, you're just, it's garbage in, garbage out, I guess, as they would say in the computer world. But I had the Pelcher units made to my specifications. A lot of trial and error. I mean, a lot of trial and error. A lot of mistakes. And that, you know, and, and especially even on the spacing of these fins. And that we've gone through, you know, four mil to six mil to even eight mil, having them longer. Um, just, you know, milling this aluminum billet that and the thickness that's here as, as you can see it, it makes a big difference and again i'm not an electrical engineer but i did work with electrical engineers and mechanical engineers to make this work and again i don't sell these i made them for my off-grid lifestyle and uh and with this i really want to emphasize it's that tec module that you put in if you buy something off the shelf you buy it off of Alibaba Express or you buy it off of eBay and it's only uh, $2, well, you get what you pay for. It's only going to be, you know, maybe 5% e efficient. In a, but these modules that I had made for me, for my use, I want to make use of when the sun falls on that solar panel and when I put it into my power here, again, I've got one is for the fan and one is for the Peltier modules. And, I, and I've got a thermostat for it. When, when it gets up to a certain temperature, it will shut off, it'll defrost, and water will drip out. And as you can see with the slip, and it runs outside. And, uh, and, but it, it's, it's time to clean. And so I'm, I'm, we're cleaning everything. Cleaned it, I've washed everything out, and, and it's good. But I really wanted to answer a few questions because I, I do get a lot of emails about that. And they said, well, can I do that? And there's, there's this one question that keeps being asked is now people want to use them in their automobiles. And I really have to emphasize if you're going to make anything and you're going to do this DIY project like I did. And if you do this on your hot side, when it comes to the hot side, again, mine is black because it kind of fits in and it hides and it's you know, nobody can see it. Well, I've got, this is on the bow of the boat and it's underneath, I've got a seat. There's a seat and sunshine never touches this. Sunshine will never touch it because on, on a unit like this, as you can see, here's your center line. This is, so this is on the inside of the boat. This is on the outside of the boat. If you get sun that's on here, sun is gonna heat this up. Doesn't matter if it's white. If it's, you know, if it's a mirror finish stainless steel 316 stainless or 304 stainless, this, the sunshine is going to heat up this side and your efficiency is going to go straight out the window. No pun intended. You need to make sure that it's just ambient air temperature, outside ambient air temperature, and that, and no sunshine shines on this. I had one gentleman who contacted me. He wanted to put it in a van and he wanted to like put it in the back window, the back window of the van. I said, well, the, the sunshine is going to shine on it. And even though it's going to work, the hot side is going to get even hotter. So it's not even going to be cold air that's going to be blowing out. That's going to be coming out, you know, these sides here, you know, to cool it down. So again, I made a recommendation. If, if you've got like a van, Say if you got a standard cargo van, a work van, if you will, and that I mean, make a hole in your in your floor, and that and when you're driving down the road, you're going to have to protect, you know, these somehow, make some kind of a shroud, let the wind go across it as you're driving. Again, I I don't know the science of you've got asphalt, if you're driving through an Arizona desert, then that. And that, it, that asphalt's going to give off a lot of heat, and that might even affect it, but I don't know because I've never tried it in that situation. I've only used it on my boat, but I've never let sunshine 
ever touch the hot side. The cool side will always stay cool as long as it's just the ambient air temperature. So again, if you were to, you know, to mount this into your floor, you know, on a van that you had and you're living in a van down by the river, or, you know, just an RV, anything like that, the sunshine is never going to shine on it. And so again, hot air rises, so the cool air is going to come in, mix, you get that convection. But this is, I, I hope um, this little video answers some of the questions. But again, this unit, when I turn it on, it usually, it'll peak at about 8 amps. At, because it's all, I make everything at 24 volt. So these, because my, everything I have runs on 24 volt DC. And, uh, and so with this at 24 volt DC, goes up six to eight, you know, kind of fluctuate depending on what the outside ambient temperature is. As the system, as the Peltier units start doing their job, they get balanced, the fans are doing their job, the heat side is, th these two fans, these two fans are removing the heat as fast as they can, the, the hot and the cool side balance out, I actually can get it down to about four, three and a half to four amps per hour. But when I've got a day of full sunshine, I got a day of full sunshine, it's humid out. I'm, I mean, I'm on the water, I'm on the ocean. I am literally at sea level. And so I'm removing some of that humidity and I'm just dropping the temperature enough to make it comfortable. I do not want it to be 16 degrees Celsius you know, inside the cabin, that would be wonderful. But, but that's not my goal. I mean, I live on the boat. I want to come down into, you know, the V berth down into our cabin, just removing that humidity. I mean, you don't get that mold in your clothes, even though we have cedar, you know, lined for our, our you know, clothes closets and stuff like that. But you just want to remove that humidity. You want to remove that humidity and drop the temperature just enough to be cool. Once the sun goes down, once the sun goes down, this unit is off. I, I don't use any more power. We use the rest of the power for our refrigeration, for our fans, you know, for the ice maker, etc. And, uh, and so that's the reason why I've made this. I have not made this to, to re replace a, you know, a Freon, you know, a compressor and all that but it works. It works perfect for me. And in my do-it-yourself world of, you know, I want to be comfortable, but I want to be off-grid and it works perfect. And there's no chemicals. I, I live on, you know, on a boat. I don't want these chemicals going in. I use biodiesel. Biodiesel is recycled cooking oil. So if I were to spill any fuel from my boat, I believe the fish would eat it, eat it because it's just recycled vegetable oil. Again, it's environmentally friendly. I know governments will tell you, oh, there is no such thing as global warming. But to me, anything I can do to lower my carbon footprint to not use fossil fuels, I'm pretty happy. So again, uh, put out this new video. I think it was it was almost three years ago that I first put out. Uh, my first video when I had the first working test unit. Again, it wasn't in a window or anything like that, but um, I did test. It was working really good, and they still work great. Um, have them on the boat, so we're just down. We just, right now, me and I only own, we just have this wood boat now. And again, we're, we're looking for a, a fiberglass vessel to for our retirement. But, right, even on that vessel... I'm going to have more of these made, and when I have more of these made, we're going to put them in, and it's just to take out that humidity. But one of the key things, if you make something like this, or you can, again, I know China factories have copied it, and it's probably all, all around the world by now, because it's been three years, and because I didn't sign any any non-compete or whatever clauses they are, I just went to a factory to have it made for what I need and of course they're gonna copy it and do it there's no patent pending or anything so anyway they're out there but what's important is your TEC modules the thermal electric cooling modules like this one has three make sure you get the 
most, the purest semiconductor, the purest metal that you have for the hot and the cold side, and that is where you're going to get your efficiency. And then part two, do not let sunshine ever touch the hot side. When this is on the outside of your vehicle or your house, whatever it is, never let the sun touch it. The sun should never see it, only ambient air temperature, and it does. It works wonderful. They're, they're wonderful little units. They use very little power. Even, I've got, I call, now this one's the little squiddy, and I call the, the large one that ha actually has, it's basically two units, you know, put together. And, that, and I call that the big fish. But now, that, again, they run fairly efficient, but I only use them when the sun is beating on the solar panels, when it's warm in the V-berth, and I've got lots of power, my batteries are in a float stage, and, that, and they, work, they work wonderfully well. And again, as, as you can see, this is the hot side, this is the cool side. And, that, and getting the, the proper, now I've, I, I use a, a, um, a Lexan or whatever, it's a plastic. But right in between here, this is where the Pelcher modules are. And, uh, and they, they touch, and, uh, and it took a lot of different engineering, but it worked out for me. And, uh, and I mean, if I can do it, I'm not a rocket scientist, I, you know, I mean, my God. I, I do have a PhD, but it is not in electro science or electro mechanical engineering. So, thing is, you can do it. But make sure that you get the right Pelcher modules, the TEC modules. I don't know the numbers. A lot of people ask me about the numbers. I'm not familiar with them. Uh, because what we tried, what we bought off of Taobao and, and off of Alibaba, and that, they, they, just, they just never worked. And uh, so I had them made. And, that, and we've done everything. These work for me. And I don't know what you can buy online anymore because I don't look I just know what I need so I hope that this video has been helpful and these little units do make a difference I mean if you want to sleep comfortably th that's all you need is just to be comfortable I mean I'm I'm not looking to be able to see my breath in the cabin I just want it to be nice and cool and the other times we go out up on the top deck get a nice breeze cool breeze from the south and a few gin and tonics with some ice in it, well, you sleep like a baby. All right, so that's all I have to say about these, my update on my, I call it my off-grid, you know, DC cooling units. And, uh, and again, if you have more questions, don't, don't hesitate to, you know, drop me a private email through YouTube here. And, uh, but I had these specially made and seriously do your research on the TEC modules that you buy if you're gonna make something like this yourself. So for me and I here in Hong Kong, be safe, always be safe. So be good, be safe, and always be well. We'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.